Hey, this is Drew from RockyMountainFerris.com. Um, just wanted to go over a, a little piece here. You know, we talk about sustainability quite a bit. And um, one thing that's really important when you're talking about sustainability is make sure you can cook for yourself. Um, eating out every night is not sustainable. Um, so what I'm doing here actually is I'm making some lard. Um, and this is a thing that most people don't think about. And, uh, some people you know, buy lard in the store, but I like to make it myself, make sure it's fresh. This is from uh, pasture-raised hogs, and I just go to my local butcher shop, ask them to hold some pork fat for me. Um, they set it aside throughout the day when they're, uh, you know, trimming up shoulders, trimming up uh, backs in different areas, making sausages, whatever it happens to be. Uh, it charged me only a dollar a pound, so I got two pounds for about two dollars. Um, real simple, and this will make enough lard for me and my family for, oh, jeez, a couple weeks, three weeks easily. The process is really easy. All you got to do here is take your lard. Uh, it comes in some nice big chunks of fat, just like that. And what I'm doing is chopping it up. If you buy enough, they will actually grind it for you. Um, but I just got two pounds, so it's not enough really to have them grind it for me. Um, so do it basically just chopping it up. Uh, one thing for this is you do want to have a really nice sharp knife. Um, that's going to make a big difference. Trimming off a lot of the meat that's left over there. That's going to be a little treat for my dog later on. He's going to get to eat that. Uh, and then I'm just going to put it in a pan. Uh, once I get this all chopped up, I will uh, show you what we're going to do with this. But uh, basically, you just uh, render it on the stove for oh, however long it takes, 12 hours. It takes quite a while, but uh, I'll show you that when we come around to there. All right, so I got all the pork fat chopped up, and it's in the pot here. Um, I just added a little bit of water in the bottom there, you can see. Um, and basically, the, what that's going to do is going to make sure that uh, the pork doesn't scorch. Uh, what you really want is you don't want it to cook, you want it to render. So basically you're cooking it at a really, really low heat, or not cooking it at all, just rendering it at a very low heat, and the, the fat is actually going to melt. So you're basically just melting fat, um, and it's going to take a number of hours. And I can show you the flame here, maybe you can see that. See how tiny that flame is? It's going to be really low, and um, stirring it periodically, probably once every half hour, once every hour, and it's probably going to take, you know, 10 hours. It's going to take quite a while. So it is... Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to chop up all that fat. Um, so if you can get them to grind it for you, that's great. Uh, it's about 1.30 now, and we'll see how long this takes. Um, got a little tree for my dog here. He's kind of running around in the background. i got all the extra little pieces. He is uh, patiently waiting because he knows he's going to get something. Um, <laughs> whenever I do this, he always gets a little bit of a little bit of a treat. So let's see. Amos, sit. All right, I'll be back when that is getting a little bit closer. All right, so here is the lard. It's about 5.30 now, so it's been about four hours. And pretty much all the water has evaporated from it. Um, and it's just pretty much fat now, as you can see. Um, liquid fat, that's, uh, that's basically lard in there. And then there's uh, still a lot of pieces of fat floating around. So um, shortly here, I'll probably turn up the heat a little bit. I think the, the danger of it scorching is over. Um, cook it down a little bit faster because unfortunately I don't have, you know, 12 hours to let this go. But uh, it's just kind of an update. Alright, so I let the pork fat cook down for quite a while here. Um, couldn't let it go all the way because i got to go to bed and I'm running out of time here. But um, basically what I did is poured it off into some cheesecloth to drain it. Um, I'm going to let this drain for a little, by, a little while over this colander. And below the colander I've got a pan and all the grease is collecting in there. Um, pour all the lard into this jar and stick it in the fridge. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really easy. It just takes a little, a little bit of time. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like in the jar tomorrow morning when it's all nice and solidified. Alright guys, so here is the lard after it has solidified. Um, and you can see it's nice and creamy and white. Um, this is about a 16 ounce jar, so I almost got that much from two pounds of fat. Um, could have gotten more if I'd let it cook down longer. Um, and you see, it's really smooth and nice. And um, time to fry up some eggs. So, thank you very much.